Hi, this is Neeti Keswani, author of best-selling book Live Your Dreams and founder Plushing, an online creative content platform. Through this podcast, I intend to bring to you stories and facts that are inspirational. Life these days has suddenly come to a standstill for many of us. We seem to be caught up in the boredom that entails the day. We complain and whine and just pass the day in complete frustration with occasional respite in perhaps a fun WhatsApp forward sent by a friend. But what if we could flip our feelings around? What if we pass the day with complete zest for life and occasionally get the feeling of boredom, if at all? Yes, it is possible, even in times of quarantine. Here are some ways to do that. Smile when you feel negative feelings within. The times that we are in, they are causing us anxiety, stress, even deep sadness to some of us. These negative thoughts and feelings try to creep in our minds and eventually in our hearts. Let's not try to evade them. Acknowledge them and know that they are normal. So allow them to be present for a moment or two. But do not let them consume you. Do not let them take over your mood for the whole day. Often, simply smiling the moment these thoughts come in is enough to make them fade away. Sometimes, it is hard to smile when you have so many tensions brimming in your heart. But try forcing yourself to smile and in that very moment, see how your worries simply vanish away. At least momentarily. Make soothing try it. Yes. In Smiling India, brings tea is more than a beverage. To the it is a comfort it sort drink of allows since you times to get back to your pleasant and most productive Whenever self. we feel tired or unwell or just fed up, we take a tea break. A simple strong tea with a touch of ginger and cardamom can do wonders to the craving soul. And now, there's so much more variety for every mood it seems. Green tea with a slice of lemon and pot of honey is again one of my personal favourites. You can even experiment with rose, mint, hibiscus tea. In fact, it is a must if you are a tree lover. In fact, it is a must if you are a tea lover. Anyways, whichever tea you decide to go for, the idea is that when you're feeling low, put that kettle on, throw in some herbs and let them infuse for some time. Strain and just enjoy that freshly brewed kappa that will lift your mood instantly. Take time to meditate and pray. When the going gets tough, the tough gets going. We all have heard of the saying, but how does the tough get going? What fosters the energy in the tough to keep on striving and moving ahead? It is that inner connectedness, that feeling of knowing what they're doing and why they're doing it that keeps them going. It, and it comes from meditating. And it comes from meditating. And it comes from meditating. While managing our daily tasks, it is crucial to just get 10 minutes to connect with yourself. Whatever is a good time for you, early morning when you wake up, during your lunch hour or before you go to sleep, take 10 minutes to meditate each day. It can do wonders for you. Just try for 5 days and you will see the difference. Fitting meditation and relaxation into your lifestyle will free your mind and foster a stronger relationship with your spiritual wellness. Fitting meditation and relaxation into your lifestyle will free your mind and foster a stronger relationship with your spiritual wellness. Also, praying helps. Pray to the higher power, to whosoever you feel connected to. There is so much that is beyond science and these times are proof of that. So pray to the higher power who seems to control the entire universe. You will find an undeniable peace and calm even if your situation does not change immediately. Try it. Daily Act of Goodness 
During the times of lockdown, while most of us are advised not to leave our homes, there are some people who are on duty. They are keeping us safe by putting their life in jeopardy. But you and I forget just how easy and important it is to do good every single day. Just focus on one act of goodness every day. Just one act of goodness. What could that be for you? For me, perhaps it could be meaningful content that I create for you, that touches some strings in the hearts of everyone. For you, it could be cooking for your family, or spending time with your kids, or reaching out to families of the troubled and offering help. It could be anything. Your one daily act of kindness could be uniquely yours. Own it, embrace it, and make it a daily to-do. You will feel so good after it. You will feel so good after doing it that you will start finding ways of doing it every day. Mentor someone. Since some of us have loads of time at our hands these days, why can't we mentor others with our stream of knowledge? Why can't we bless someone else with that nugget of knowledge that we are blessed with? It's not that you have to be qualified to mentor or coach always because if it is your family or friends, they already know who you are and they can turn to you when in need. You just have to embrace them and advise them and mentor them to help them come out of the situation easily. Read edifying books. Try reading content that acts as food for soul. Helpful content naturally makes us feel healthier and happier. Our spirit gets lifted and we are on that road to achieving our goals again. Some of the books I recommend are Live Your Dreams, But Of Course. Try checking out my video on 12 reasons why you should be reading Live Your Dreams. The link is going to be in the description. The most prominent reason one most prominent reason is that it gives you an instant oasis where you can just escape to with no inhibitions it just answers those questions which have been buried deep inside you perhaps for a really long time relating to your family to your work-life balance to your spirituality who should you turn to your trust factors and things like that on another level, it talks about creativity and innovation in a very, very different aspect. With fashion as an art. With fashion as an art. Try exploring the book. You will find nuggets of it that will resonate with your inner being in some way or the other. It makes you explore creativity which is unique to you and propels you to follow your dreams. Another one I really like these days is Vishen Lakhiani's The Code of the Extraordinary Mind. Through this book, Vishen is trying to provide a 10-point framework for understanding and enhancing the self. Two very interesting aspects of the book are bending reality and consciousness engineering. I hope you liked one or all of these options to improve your life spiritually and mentally. Hopefully, you would try incorporating them into your life one at a time. I guess it is time for all of us to go with the flow. It is time to loosen up and think. Think with an open mind, rest and stay peaceful. Because then only we can be ready for the future which will come knocking as soon as this tide has settled. Cheers! This is Neeti Keswani signing off and you are listening to Plushing Podcast. Stay tuned for loads of inspiration coming your way same time next week. Thank you.